माय चैनल स्टडी विद ओशिना हुजा टुडे आई एम हियर विद द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ माय वीडियो विद फ्रॉम द चैप्टर कंप्यूटर हार्डवेयर इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो आई हैव कवर्ड दैट व्हाट इज हार्डवेयर व्हाट इज सॉफ्टवेयर व्हाट आर द इनपुट डिवाइसेस एंड व्हाट आर दीस एग्जांपल्स विद दिस एक्सप्लेनेशंस नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द आउटपुट डिवाइसेस व्हाट आर दीस आउटपुट डिवाइसेस द devices that produces the output in user readable form produces the output produces the output in user readable form so now next is what are the examples of output devices there are many examples that are like monitor monitor speaker printer and plotter so now next so our first output device is printer printer what is printer we have available we have printers available in our homes it is the device used to print texts and pictures that you see on the monitor screen and the output of the printer is in permanent readable form it means that we can read it it is permanent it can't be erased from it is the, in the form of the paper form and that readable permanent paper form is called hard copy now we have printers in two kinds that are impact printers printers that make a mark on paper what this means is that printers that makes a mark on paper by striking a print or a needle on the ink ribbon they are called impact printers i am going to starting with the definition from impact printers the definition of impact printers you should kindly note it down so it is printers that make a mark on paper printers that make a mark on paper by striking a or striking a print head on the ink ribbon they are called the impact printers now uh, example in this is dot matrix some of the students or you guys uh, you are having the dot matrix printer at your homes and you should be used to by them so next is non impact printers so now we are going to start with non impact printers what are non impact printers the printers that do not strike the print head they don't strike the print head on the ink ribbon they are known as the impact non impact printers so in this we are having the examples common examples are laser and inject laser and inject printers are the common printers in case of non impact printer so next is plotter it is also an output device a plotter is a special type of printer it is a special type of printer that is used for producing that is used for producing high quality high quality graphs and diagrams and these printers these plotters they are mainly used by engineers engineers architects and map makers 
Why they need this to plot a plan? Why they need this to plot a plan? So now next is so our next topic is components of CPU box or components inside the CPU box. Various hardware components we are having such as motherboard, motherboard. We are having processor or CPU and then we are having memory chips, memory chips. Now what are these memory chips? These are RAM, ROM, hard disk drive, hard disk drive. Then we are having SMPs. So these are the components of the CPU box that are present in the CPU box. Now let us discuss some of these components in detail. So, so now uh, we are having the components. Uh, I am going to discuss them in detail. So first component is SMPS. SMPS stands for switched mode power supply. Switched mode power supply. So switched mode power supply. And SMPs they convert the incoming electricity into proper voltage. They convert, we will be writing, they convert incoming electricity in proper voltage. So, now the next component here we are having is motherboard. What is this motherboard? This is the main board that holds many of the crucial components of the computer system. This is the main board and that holds many crucial components of the computer system. So now the sound card in this lets the computer play sound and the video card allows the computer to display videos, graphics and animation. So main two things we are studied, we are to study here is that is sound card and we are having video cards. We are having video cards. Next thing is the processors. Processor or CPU. Processors are also known as the CPU. They are the brain of the computer. They are the brain of the computer. This so we are learning from the class second or first that CPU is the brain of the computer. And it is present on the motherboard. Where it is present? It is present on the motherboard. So now next uh, we have the component that is memory chips. It is one of the important components of computer hardware. So two types of memory chips are present on our motherboard of the computer that are RAM and ROM. So now we are going to discuss RAM and ROM somehow in detail. So I'm going to discuss RAM and ROM in detail. RAM stands for Random Access Memory. It stands for Random Access Memory. Whereas ROM stands for Read Only Memory. It stands for Read Only Memory. Next is, next point that we can write is, it is 
placed in the motherboard in the form of a chip on the motherboard and rom is also present in the form of chip in the motherboard ram is a read and write memory it is only the read slash write memory and in rom once the data is placed in rom it can't be removed data can't be data can't be removed now ram it is a voltage memory vol volatile memory it is a volatile memory and whereas rom it is a non volatile memory now ram it retains the stored information as long as the power is switched on but when the power is supply is switched off the information of ram is lost this means that ram information in the ram information can be lost information can be lost by switching off the power supply now next thing here is in the rom rom is used for storing a special software called bios it is used to store bios b i e o s full form of bios is basic basic input or output system so now next uh, uh, component that is present inside the cpu box is ports they are the inlets that present in the cpu what are these these are the inlets that let you plug various devices ports means they are some as uh, wires we can say them and these let you plug various devices that let you plug various devices such as mouse keyboard or printer etc next is these days most of the devices are connected to computer through usb ports through usb ports now what is the form, uh, full form of this usb it is universal universal serials serial bus universal serial bus next component is the disk drives this disk drives in a computer are the devices that let you store and retrieve data on the storage devices that let you store and retrieve or retrieve retrieve data on the storage devices so now the main thing is the devices how devices uh, like uh, connected with, with this they are cd and dvd next is a hard disk is the main storage device found inside the computer main storage device main storage device in computer is hard disk it is hard disk then we can uh, learn the cds what are cds cds are the circular in shape and can store a lot of data cds so what is the full form of cd it is compact disk compact disk 
in this chapter we have learned from the starting that what is hardware hardware what is software various components of hardware what are the components of hardware there are mainly three that are input devices output devices and components inside a cpu box so look that so here we are finished with our chapter uh, computer hardware thanks for watching my video i hope you like it please like share comment and subscribe my video so you can subscribe my channel so you can get newly updates and newly videos that will help you learning at home in this pandemic of covid 19